But back then, the lunch, there were meals served in many of the lunchrooms and such. <clears throat> and you could go in on lunch, uh, Walgreens and places like that and get a sandwich. And what Buddy would, Buddy would do is go in and order a sandwich and then sit down at the counter. And he'd always have a seat open next to him. And as soon as the sandwich was served, he would take half of the sandwich, shove the other plate over in front to the next chair and his black friend would come in and then they'd share the sandwich together. Now, what would the restaurant owner or the manager do when the black friend came in? Uh, try to get them to leave. Okay, interesting. Now, um, you say Buddy is no longer with this us. This is not really a restaurant. This is the uh, old lunch. The lunch counters, like at Woolworths yes. and Walgreens. Okay. Yes, exactly. So with the little stools. So they would come up. Okay, I get it. They would come up to the counter. So not so much um, sitting at a booth. No. That kind of thing. Okay, I remember those little lunch counters. Interesting. So with, um, did Buddy take part in the marches at all? Uh, yes, he did. And so uh, do you know if he knew Dr. Sonny Herford or Dr. Cashin? I'm sure he knew all of them. In fact, Buddy was, uh, Buddy was, they, somehow they found out, they, the KKK, right. found out where Buddy lived. And they came out one night at uh, something like nine o'clock at night and said, our, our car's broken down, we need some help, can we borrow your phone? I don't have a phone. Um, will you drive us to where we can get help? Oh. And he said, I was down, almost out the front door when it hit me. They might not be telling the truth, and they weren't. And this is out close to where uh, Johnson High School is now. And uh -huh. they, as soon as he got out the door, they grabbed him, put a gun at his head, made him, they took his keys from him, they drove to a uh, field, uh, made him drop his pants, sprayed uh -huh. him with oil and mustard, which I don't know what that is, but Buddy told me it was the most intense pain right. he's ever been under. And then they uh, just left him there, took his car and drove off. He uh, went, finally found a family that uh, they were scared to death. Here's this right. white guy right here, 11 o'clock at night. So he uh, had them call an ambulance. They took him to the hospital, and uh, the hospital didn't believe him. Wow. So he took a uh, lie detector test, uh -huh. which he failed. And he told me, he said, Topper, I always tell the truth. As you know it, I didn't tell. And I said, what was the question where they failed you? Have you told us everything about this experience? I said, buddy, there's no way you can answer that, because there's all... No matter what, you're going to remember, oh my gosh, the guy that sat next to me kept twitching his hand. Right. Or, so you cannot tell them, yes, I've told you everything, because you'll remember something you did. Exactly. And that made him feel so much better, but he he was just so upset with Huntsville and the way he was treated, the way things were going, that he uh, went back to New York City to live there for a while. So no one was ever arrested for that crime? No. And there were at least, you said two or three men? or, or I think he told me there were three. Two three, in the, two, yeah. yeah. One that sat, he, he sat between two in the front of his car. And, and then, then the driver. Guy in the back seat. Wow. I've actually read that story, but I never do, uh, I don't recall the name with that, but I remember uh, reading about a gentleman who was abducted and 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 doused with uh, mustard mustard oil, whatever that is. And then where'd they get it? Where'd they get the mustard oil? And Dr. Herford and I were discussing this, and he said that um, that um, it would have to be issued by you know a, a pharmacist or uh, you know the arsenal, of course, with the uh, munitions. You could get mustard oil, mustard gas from out there, but. Um, 
I didn't couldn't know. figure that out. Yeah, it's like where where would these guys have gotten mustard uh, oil or that chemical? Uh, so it was just really interesting on that. Well, thanks for sharing that tidbit on uh, your friend, the late uh, Marshall. Well, we'll call him Buddy. <laughs> All right.